Well, no metal detector today. We've come back down to the beach of broken pottery. And uh, come down with my brother today. He's going to come down. So we found this, which is a bit of a marmalade jar. Um, we'll look at that one. I think it's something in Sons Dundee Marmalade. 1875 it's got on it. That's pretty good. We'll get a picture and we'll see if we can find the whole one. Well, just had the second find. This is a looks like a bottom of a plate, but it's got Union Tea made in Czechoslovakia on it. That should be another old one. So I'll do a zoomed in picture now, and you can have a look. Well, we just stopped for a cup of tea, and we found this one, which we just put here while we was drinking, which is a Royal Dalton. Uh, I can't see what else it says under there. So I'll get a close up of that one. You can have a look at that and we'll see if we can identify that. But it looks like a plain white cup. I have a flashing LED with that one. Mm -hmm. So we just found a bit of Empire Ware from Stoke on Trent. It, it does have a number on there which is unique to the plate. But unfortunately, that bit's broken off. So then I'll get a close up of that one. So, the stove is set up, we're all ready, looking forward to my scrambled egg, and what's happened? I left the kettle at home. So we've got no way of cooking it. <laughs> oh dear. It's near, you and stoves really don't go together, do you? <laughs> oh well, we'll have to console ourselves with a cup of tea. I've not come across that one before. Phoenix English China. Looks like a little teacup, so get a close up of that one, see if we can find out who they are. WTC Oh no, WT Copeland and Sons, Stoke on Trent, England. Looks like another cup. We seem to be finding lots of cups today. The beach is littered with these things. I don't know what they are. Does anyone... Any ideas? It'd be good to know if you can comment in below. 